this video, we're going to walk through how to add protected content in Outseta so that you can have members only content on your site that is protected by a free plan or a paid plan. So you're going to want to set up your plans in Outseta first. If you haven't done that yet, then head on over to the building plans in Outseta video before this one. To start, we need to add the Outseta login script to our Webflow project. So we'll go to Auth and Embeds. And in Quick Start, we'll copy the Quick Start head script here. And then we'll navigate over to our Webflow project and go to project settings and to custom code. With Webflow, you need to have a site hosting plan to use custom code. Uh, so to be able to this, you need to have that type of account on Webflow. And once you've copied that in, we can save changes and we can publish. And we'll just publish to our site that's being hosted on the Webflow site. So the great thing about Webflow is you can choose where you want to publish to. And so while we're in this testing phase, it's always great to, if you do have a custom domain, just to leave that untouched and just publish to the Webflow site in the interim. Great, so that's published and we'll head back into the designer. We want visitors to the site to be able to navigate to the recipe and workout pages, but we want to protect the individual workouts and recipes. So if this is our homepage and someone clicks on workouts, we want them to be able to see this home workouts page, but we want to effectively protect each of the individual workouts or each of the CMS items within their respective collections. To be able to do that, we just need to know what the URLs are for each collection. So if I click on workouts in the CMS collections tab and the gear icon for settings, I can see that the collection URL has a folder named member workouts. All of the workout subpages are going to be a part of this folder. And so this is the folder we want to protect. We want to protect the URL that begins with our Webflow URL and then includes this folder so that everything after this part of the URL, every workout page will be protected. If we navigate back over to Outseta and down to Auth and Protected Content, we're going to add protected content and we can name this Member Workouts. And we want to add to this yourwebsite.com, that's where we want to add the rest of our URL. So that member dash workouts folder. And just so you know, just really quick, this website, yourwebsite.com should be the company URL that you used when you were setting up your Outseta account for your project to protect content with your project. So if you want to double check what your base URL is, we can just head into settings and general. And you can see here it's this URL, company website URL. So that's what we're appending in the uh, protected content section here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And our folder is member dash workouts. And we'll just double check. All right, so member dash workouts. And we want to change this equals to starts with so that any time a URL starts with your website slash your top level folder for your CMS collection, 
anytime it starts with that, that content will be protected. And so that way all of the workout pages will be protected because they all start with this URL. The beauty of also having this folder be our top level of protected content is that if we add more workouts to the workout CMS in the future, they're going to automatically be protected, which is great. We'll leave the access denied URL blank so that if users don't have access, they'll be redirected to the home page. If you do have a dedicated access denied page, this is where you'll add that URL so that users can be taken to a specific page and let them know that they need to log in or sign up to access your protected content. If you leave a blank, otherwise they'll be directed back to the home page. And in the plans here, this is where we get to let Outsetta know which plans have access to this group of content. So for us in this tutorial, using the plans that we've already created, the rookie and pro plans will both have access to the workout pages. So we can add them in here just by starting to type them in. And so now our rookie plan has access to just member workouts and our pro plan gives members access to workouts and recipes. So we wanna make sure that the workouts is included in the pro plan as well. So we have both of those plans ready to go and we can click save. And so we'll do the same thing and repeat the process for member recipes. If I head back over into Webflow and again, click on the settings for recipes, I can see that the collection URL folder is member-recipes. So I'll copy that and paste it in to our hidden URL. And then again, change this from equals to starts with. Again, we'll leave the access denied URL blank so that users will just be redirected to the homepage if they don't have access. And plans with this access group are the varsity plan and the pro plan. And then we can select save. And now when we save and close, we can see a table with our content groups and which plans allow members to access them as well as our URL paths. So we can always know what the URL paths are that are being protected. And just to clarify on this page, we've selected content groups here because we want to have multiple users access these groups. If we wanted a single user to have access to a specific page based on just their account, so maybe a user specific dashboard uh, or something of that nature, this is where we would do account specific pages and enable those account specific pages and then connect them to each of those user accounts. But because we are working with content groups and we have a one-to-many relationship, so one content group with many potential users or members, we've gone into the content groups, protected content, and added those two content groups to our uh, protected content here section of Outsetta. The neat thing is that you can see this in action right away. If I go back to the published Webflow site and refresh it from being on this workout page, it should now redirect us to the home page because we no longer have access to this individual workout. So we hit refresh and perfect. Now we're redirected back to the home page because we aren't on a plan yet that will give us access to the individual workout content. Awesome. That's how you can create protected content in Outsetta. Mm -hmm.